Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is not personal, but if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, check out the box below. It has my website and it has my email. Just a reminder, for the month of November, we have two workshops, the Sacred Tarot Workshop to learn how to read tarot for yourself and for all others. And then we do have the Goddess Temple Resurrected. Uh, for those who are wishing to seek initiation, transmission, and activation through the Seven Goddess Temples for 14 weeks, if you'd like any more information on both of those sacred spaces, either email me or check out the website below. Thank you for your love and support to my energy and channel. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, for free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out let's get right to it today pisces divine mother and father what do we have for the pisces today what do we have for the pisces today what i am seeing right away is the green man i'm even getting a little bit of odin energy what do we have for the pisces today you have light dancer illumination the radiant self oh, i can't make that up the green man I can't make that up, okay? The green man, rising energy surge or fertility. So the green man is really in the energy field, perhaps for you. I'm also getting that Odin energy, um, but you have the light dancer, illumination, radiant self, shining soul. And that's kind of what I see you is like shining through. And I'm also seeing hologram. This is gonna be for Pisces who's very high vibrational. And what I'm hearing is she glad 144. She glides on wings through time and space, which is also the goddess Isis energy. So Isis or perhaps Hathor can resonate with you as well. Let's see what this is. Why light dancer? You do have grateful optimism, joyous view of the future. Some of you astral travel a lot in your sleep. Um, or even like during the day, I'm getting like your astral travel gifts are very strong because that's how I see you in this picture here in this energy. We're going to get two more cards for you. Why the light dancer and grateful optimism? And it's a little bit of the Akashic Records energy that I'm picking up on you, like Pisces, where... It's like your eternal soul. It's like the part of you, Pisces, that is eternal. Okay, like your eternal self. And I don't know why all of a sudden I want to say your immortal self. Um, so this actually could have to do with the Akashic Records as well. So take this as it resonates. Maybe you had an Akashic Records reading recently. Maybe you did one yourself on yourself. All right, but there's something that you're bringing through time and space into this world and this reality. In this lifetime, you're meant to bring in something through time and space. Because that saying, she glides through time, like I, I believe it's like she glides through on her wings or something like that through time and space. And that's for goddess Isis. So that can resonate with you. But what I'm getting also, it's like in this lifetime, you bring something that travels through time and through space. And it's something that's very eternal. I feel like it's something that you bring, okay? It's creations realized, right time, harvest, and celebrate, and joyous view of the future. There is something that you have, a gift from another lifetime that you're meant to anchor uh, and to bring to this world. Okay, what I'm getting is like the energy of the infinite or of, you know, like timelessness. You're meant to bring this at this time. The energy that you bring in what you do, maybe you're an artist, maybe, or maybe you do tarot, maybe you're an artist, maybe you're this, maybe you're that, like whatever it is that you do, you're supposed to be doing what you're doing because what you're doing is timeless. Like I'm getting the energy of even like Michael Jackson or Beyonce or this or that, like what you bring to the world and it doesn't have to be like music right i don't i i sing here but i think it's very clear that i'm not a great singer um but what you're good at your spiritual gifts the gift and the expression it is the art and it's not just like painting art but the art 444 that you have to bring to this world your art is timeless your art will be talked about 
it's full, like it that's the energy that i'm getting of like you whatever you're creating right now what's in your head 10 years from now people can still talk about what you did and what you brought your art through your art okay you have the bloom why do we have light dancer the bloom and grateful optimism you do have rest in reverse okay so just make sure you're resting amongst all of these different energies and stuff too you do have forgive and you have apollo divine messages okay um you're getting a lot of messages at this time some of you could also work with apollo um, make sure you're resting because I do feel like you're getting messages in your dreams. You do also have visionary, okay? You're in past life healing. You're going through a lot of past life healing, which is why you need to rest more than usual. I'm also getting though, like in your dreams or in the times when you're still is when you're actually receiving a lot of visions and a lot of, um, I'm getting even a little bit of deja vu a lot of visions and a lot of messages through the crown okay from your spirit guides from your ancestors from your higher self let's see what this is for you pisces why do we have the light dancers the bloom and grateful optimism the moon okay why the moon card for this reading for pisces my hands are too dynamic to have things in front of me. why the moon card for pisces in this reading why the moon card for Pisces? Why the moon card with the seven of wands? You're protecting yourself from something that you don't see. Or you are protected from that of which you do not see, Pisces. You, queen of swords, you are protected from that of which you don't see. Why the moon card? Why the seven of wands? Interesting. Why the five of wands? It's interesting. We have a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with the fire sign right now. Someone is walking away from something to come into some sort of celebration, marriage or something over here, but not without a fight. What is this? <laughs> I mean, have grateful, joyous optimism for the future. But oh, Pisces, what is this for you? Where's Pisces in this reading? Where's Pisces in this reading? You're going to get justice. There's other people involved, Pisces. Have strength. Hold on. You're going to get justice. This is some unjust stuff that's gone on in your life. It has to do with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is what you do not see. Eight of Cups with the Moon card. Someone's walking away over here, but um, it's causing a fight. Why the Four of Wands with the Five of Wands? Why the Four of Wands with the Five of Wands? There's other energies here that are not happy about this celebration, okay, Pisces? Why Justice and Nine of Wands for Pisces? You're going to celebrate, but not everyone's happy about this. Why Justice with the Nine of Wands and Three of Cups for Pisces? Why the Three of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces? Why Judgment? Why Judgment? A judgment of power. All right, Pisces, there's some sort of heartbreak or betrayal here. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. You're actually being protected for more than you see right now, Pisces. Um, you could be dealing with someone who is dealing with multiple people and... What you don't see is you're actually being protected right now from a big conflict because of that. I want to see who this other person is, but there's two other energies here, okay? Um, Pisces, the moon card, seven of wands, five of wands. You don't even realize that there's actually multiple people coming up against you. I feel like it has to do with this fire sign over here. 
through this fire sign, there's people that don't like you because of this fire sign. You know, where it's like, maybe you know them. These people could even know about you and you don't know about them. Um, who is this fire sign to Pisces, King of Wands? Who is this fire sign? Who is this fire sign to Pisces? Um, someone who's made a move on you, has wanted to move forward. But Nido, I mean, the Knight of Wands energy, we know what that means in the tarot. And you do have it with the King of Wands, okay? So someone who has wanted to make a move towards you, who has made a move towards you. Why the... What is Pisces' relationship to King of Wands? Um, this is someone that you've given a chance to. New beginning, Six of Wands, Six of um, Swords over here. Okay, you've wanted to move forward with this person. I see you have wanted a new beginning with this person. Okay. Definitely someone that it's like, okay, let's try this. Let's see where this goes. But what you don't know is that there's actually a lot going on behind the scenes. And there's been more than one person that has come for you. They're all pages, page of, page of pentacles. Like these, it's two feminine energies, whether you're male or female, um, take it as it resonates, but there have been two feminine energies here in this conflict. Who are these, why the page of wands and the page of pentacles? Why the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles? Why the Page of Wands and Page of Pentacles? These two people have teamed up together because they don't, they don't like you. Let me tell you, Ace of Wands, they don't like you. They do not want you to win. They do not. These two feminine energies that have to do with this King of Wands energy, they do not like you. Oh, no, they don't. And they want to sabotage you. Okay. How do these people feel about Pisces? They think you have it all. Temptation. These are karmic people who, this is your energy, Pisces, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. How do they view you? It's so weird that they like want to sabotage you or a win or an opportunity for you. It could have to do with this person. But whatever win they think you're going to have or they see you having, they don't want you to have that that you will receive justice for the people, three of cups, who came for your foundation, seven of pentacles. You let God be God and you do not take this into your own account, which requires mastery because it brings up all these emotions, right? When you truly let God be God and not like, I, well, I have the power and I can, no, let, let God be God. Because I do feel like they're facing judgment because of that Ten of Swords. They see you as an Ace of Cups, 333, three, three, as soon as I say that. And so that's why this is kind of gross, because they see you in a high light. And that's what makes it more gross, where it's like, oh, well, I don't want them to have that. It's, it's disgusting. Um, and that's how it feels reading this of, yeah, page of cups. They're a page of cups energy. It's like, well, if they, if they have that, well, if I can't have that, they can't have it either. Okay. Who are these people to the king of wands? Uh, past lovers, actually. Ace of wands in reverse. And if you read, if you read tarot or you know tarot, oh baby then you know what that means. And we just had another card came out. Um, Ace of Wands in reverse. I feel like uh, this King of Wands energy has people, this could be work or this could be love. They have people with work or with love that didn't work out in the past. And so these people are either energetically or like they know about this and watching them. Ooh, and Sacred Union just fell out too. Um there's a lot of resistance with this connection and it's either you both have a love connection or you're meant to work together in some way, shape or form. 
And the past people that this person has been with, oh no, they will do what they can to sabotage this. I don't even think this person knows that. What I'm getting is that this person is a little bit naive, like just thinking the best of everyone, which is great, but it's not going to get you anywhere when it's like, well, I understand you want to see people in their best light, but like these people are doing this right now. So let's talk about the truth and not just love and light and trying to keep the peace because this is what's happening right now. This person rejected these people in the past. And so it's like they almost like want revenge or it's like, well, and what's coming through is like their past people are like, okay, well, I hope that they don't do well with anyone else or like with the what I'm getting is like this person though doesn't actually see these pages for what they are, whether they're still in contact them contact with them or not. These pages, they're so naive about these pages. These pages actually will, might still be in their energy, but they're plotting. They don't actually want this person to move on and be successful. That's why they're still in their life. You know, Pisces, sometimes we do need to release people from the past and stop with the codependency of like, well, we've been through a lot, or I don't want to hurt this person by leaving them, or this or that. No, sometimes you're leaving old energy in your life and it's blocking you actually from new energy coming in. It's blocking you from abundance, from this or from that. What's coming through here, Pisces too, is like not only a message for Pisces, you know, because it does feel like it's the other person, it's not you, but again, the roles can be reversed. It's okay to walk away from people. Sometimes when you try to keep people in your life out of the peace, you're really doing yourself a disservice because that person's actually not supposed to be in your life. It, it's okay that there are hurt feelings sometimes. And I have chills as I say that. Um, what I get is that this person in your life does not see the people in their life and what they're doing. You maybe do. This person doesn't. Okay. And so, and these people, they actually see you in a high light, but they're jealous of you. Why do these people view Pisces this way? Why do these people view Pisces this way? Because they want you in pain like them. They see you as the empress or emperor. They know you're the empress or emperor. And they're almost in the energy of like, well, if I can't work with them, then no, then no one can. If I can't be with them, then no one can. And this person doesn't even know that these people are kind of manipulating them. Knight of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. Why? Is, are these people doing these things to Pisces? Because they want Pisces to feel pain. That's ill intention. And that's why this is gross to me. Because it's ill intention. If I can't have that, then no one can. Or if it's not me, then it's not anyone. And this and that. These people coming for you, Pisces, they're all page of cups, page of pentacles, page, page, page. And they will receive judgment. Let me tell you, they will receive judgment because this is pure ill intention. And if they don't know you, they just know that like, say it's your person, your boss, whatever, because this is work or love. This person just knows, well, I know that the person's moving on or this or that. So I'm going to sabotage it. Like, it's that energy, Pisces. And that's why it's gross. I want to know the advice for you here. But the thing is, is these are manipulators. Like your person, or like this person, they don't even know that these people are in those energies. They don't know that. It's like they have a plan. All right. What's Pisces energy towards the King of Wands? Pisces, you actually, like, you feel like right now, you and this King of Wands, there's a little bit of unbalance in the connection, but you actually really want it all with this person. You, It's like, again, if it's work, you want to work for this person. If it's love, you want this person. You do. But there's a lot of energy around you that does not want you with that person 
or a lot of energy around them that does not want them with you. And what I'm getting, it's like, this could be either ex-lovers, because you have Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? It didn't work out. Um, or these are friends that are misleading this person because they're coming from a page perspective. They're not coming from the highest perspective, okay? What's the advice for Pisces here? What's the advice in this reading? The advice in this reading, Pisces, is to use your wisdom. And you have love, okay? You are wise. You are very wise. And so this situation requires you to remain rooted in what it is that you know. Trust what you know. Trust your guidance, okay? And what I've noticed reading here, too, is um, I won't even know like that what i'm wearing every morning i intuitively pick it out and it usually aligns with the reading um you're going to have to stand in the middle we had that video yesterday where there was half shadow half light you're gonna have to stand right in the middle you're gonna have to be the high priest or high priestess here pisces that you are because pisces you are the high priest or priestess okay you're going to need to stand right in the middle because these people aren't in the middle but you're wise. You can see people, you can discern people for what they are. You're not too much in the light, you're not too much in the dark. You can see, right? Because I do feel like this person or your person, if this is love, or maybe it's a boss, if this is work, they see, these people seem cool and fine on the outside, they act it, but you see, you see. And so just trust what you know, know what you know. And this type of situation requires wisdom. Everything is so contracts, okay? So even like when you attract these people, sometimes these people learn a lesson through you. Power, judgment, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, let me get the outcome. That was a lot, Pisces. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? I get paid. You know, what's the song from TikTok? I get paid. I got paid every day, every day, different day. I get paid, like it's that. Um, and then also what I'm hearing is always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper. Okay, Pisces? Um, I see you as very wise. doesn't matter if these people, who these people are. They might be older, younger, whatever it is. But you're wise, Pisces. You move so carefully. And you're always a few steps ahead, Pisces. And so even when it comes to these energies, they do want to stop you. All it's going to do is increase your work. That's the outcome here. Like your money is going to increase. Always, always, always stay gracious. The best revenge you can ever have. On even Like this is ill intention. It's gross. Like this person, their intention was to somehow take you down. Always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper. You're letting God do what God does. Stay anchored and remain in your truth. Like, yes, defend yourself if it calls for that. But I do think that wisdom and your high priest or your high priestess is really what's going to get you out of the situation. It's really what's going to um, keep you grounded in the situation. You, you've alchemized this to your highest good. So whatever they planned for you, it only does the exact opposite. They're like, oh, I, they don't want you doing what you're doing or take you down in some way, shape, or form. I don't know. Um, this was definitely a soul contract because it's just really ill-intended what they were thinking and seeing. And um, you were meant to teach them a lesson. That's why you have wisdom, three of pentacles, ace of pentacles. You taught them what you needed to taught them. So now your blessing is that you get paid or, or you get some sort of financial blessing or work or opportunities flow in for you. Okay, so when it comes to the situation, if it happens in your life, Pisces, this is the test of wisdom and consciousness. Are you going to stoop down to where these people are and stoop down into their fear-based realities or are you're, in, you're right here? You're in love. You're in that middle, right? Pisces, you are the high priest or priestess, so we're going to stand in the middle of those two pillars, and because of that and the situation that if this is what you do or how you respond to the situation, you pass the test because in this, this is a soul contract for you to teach these people. 
And because you passed the contract without your ego getting in the way and stuff like that, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper. Your opportunities are going to increase. Your money is going to increase. And that is your blessing. And these people will learn whatever it is that they had to learn or, yeah. And I really think most of it is just like coming up, like these people wanted to come for you. They really did. And um, you're do what's coming through Pisces, it's like anyone can think what they want to think, but as long as you're doing truly what God, one source God has planned for you, and you're living in your authentic and truthful expression, you're fine, Pisces. 33 seconds as I say that. You'll come across people that will just not agree with you or see you a particular way, or you'll come across those situations where it's like, I don't even know why these people came for me or, or whatever it is. Um, oh, we always say accountable over here, Pisces, for anything that we need to be accountable for. We're going to do that. Uh, and also, uh, I do think that this is the lesson of like you again, mastering your emotions and like, well, I know who I am and this is really gross and it can bring up a lot of what these people are trying to do. Um, but I am that I am. And, and in that Pisces, you actually pass this test because you're meant to teach them. That's the soul contract. Wisdom, ace of pentacles, three of pentacles. Okay. Everything at, turns out, uh, that's why we have grateful optimism, joy of the future. The future, it ends up working out. And I feel like this week, we've had multiple readings, Pisces, where it's different situations where we're like, this is going to happen, but it ends up working out because it does. All right. Again, if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session or Akashic Records, check out the box below. It has my website and my email. I'm going to be grabbing a few cards of advice for you, Pisces. Uh, we did have this card fall earlier which was homeland, arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, and settled, okay? So some of you um, can be traveling. I do feel like it's some sort of like arrival. This could be very energetic where I've arrived this, to this new timeline or this or that, or I've arrived home. Um, for some of you, even physically arriving somewhere, okay? What do we have for advice? Oceanic spells and rituals, seashell divination and the present. Okay, someone may even give you a gift. It could have to do with like seashells or like a necklace or something like that. I also see you working more with seashells. You're being guided to do that. It's a confirmation if you've been led to do that. We also have believe in yourself. Okay, so no matter what's happening around you, believe in yourself, Pisces. Beautiful changes are happening and you have sacred marriage, Mary Magdalene. Okay, this is a union of self. You are a healer. You are a healer. You are the high priest of high priestess. You are a healer. You have so much light and worth and gifts to share with the world and to share with your community. And I see sacred marriage, Mary Magdalene, which Mary Magdalene or Anana Ishtar can resonate with you. But the way that I see this is you in union with yourself. Believe in yourself. Okay, these people... Um, they did try to come for you. Again, this is either having to do with work or you're in a connection with someone and I feel like their past or their friends um, are leading them otherwise or are low-key sending you energy. And they, they I, I feel like your person or your boss doesn't know it. I feel like they're naive. It's just like, yeah, everyone's great. <laughs> well, high priest as Pisces can see. <laughs> high priest or high priest or high priest as can see, Okay high priestess rather. Um, but for whatever that this is, Pisces, you know yourself. This is you. You have to remain rooted in your, well, I am that I am, you know, and um, this is what brings a beautiful change, okay? Uh, this is a big test for you in that consciousness, but you're going to end up teaching uh, whatever, whoever these people are, you're going to end up teaching them by you remaining rooted in I am that I am, and I am doing exactly what... Um, what I'm meant to be doing, I'm, I'm meant to, who I'm meant to be, and I'm so open to discovery of the many different versions of that. You know, Pisces? Um, we're going to grab one more card. What's the final card? For some of you, you do have uh, hostilities on the bottom of the deck, so this hasn't come without hostilities. However, you do have healing the earth, the power to give and to receive healing. Uh, for some, because you did have you are the he the healer on the bottom of that deck. For some of you, you just need the reminder, like you're a powerful healer. You, 
and I said that before, you have so much so many gifts to bring to the world and you have so much light and love to bring to this world so just remember who you are um keep doing what you're doing uh keep being open to your own personal evolution because things are going to get better and they're going to change and it's going to happen all over again however there are beautiful things coming in for you right now no matter what's going on for you and this too shall pass and i it is going to work out and get some more rest in because that is what the cards say. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that this resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.